Hey there everyone, Paradise Gamer 13 here, resuming my Let's Play of Paper Mario from the Nintendo 64. So I just arrived in Shiver City, and I'm actually going to heal up here, and the reason why I decided to actually record uh, <clears throat> me healing up this time is because I believe you actually get an item out of this. Uh, yeah, you get this potato here. I forget what it's actually called. Iced potato. Okay, I thought it was like, not just potato. But, uh... Obviously, that'll be useful for recipes later on. I'm actually going to store that right now before I forget. I think, yeah, I already talked about the shop, so... Um, not much else to do in this this part of the city, at least, really, that I can think of. Other than that potato, if you want it. Um, it's not, like, important to the rest of the quest or anything. Oh, hey! A game show. Alright, why not? Um... I don't even know if I've answered any of this guy's questions yet in this, uh, in my playthrough. Uh, it's, it's definitely Tattle. <clears throat> so, if I, in case I haven't covered this guy already, he just shows up in, like, random locations, and you, uh, basically get three, uh, three choices for, oh, I've answered three questions? Okay, I guess I have covered this guy already. But yeah, in case you don't, haven't, like, seen him yet, um... But you probably have seen him, I would think, at least once. Wait, what's this way? Oh. More of the city. Ooh. Uh, star piece, too. I'm getting sidetracked. Alright. Um, basically, though, you answer his questions correctly, and he gives you star pieces. And he shows them in random locations. Oh, it's over here. This is actually kind of important to, uh... Well, it's not important. Star pieces aren't that important, if I can find it. It's right here. Alright. But if you do not get this one now then it'll be, like, quite some time before you can get it again, because uh, a bunch of penguins will go and stand uh, on top of it, making you unable to, like, flip it. But for now, we're going to go in this house. Uh, I don't actually know if we have to talk to her first. I'm just going to go back in here. All right. And we find this guy. He's actually the mayor. He's lying on the ground. And... <clears throat> His wife comes in and thinks you've murdered him, basically. <laughs> Which is, uh, kind of dark for a Mario game. Especially like, the setting of this, uh... You know, the whole Paper Mario game is kind of like... I don't know. A lot lighter mooded, I guess. Anyways, but... Um... Yeah. It's kind of... Kind of different. I think this makes for a really interesting level, though. Um... This is definitely probably one of my favorites. Um... <clears throat> Just an interesting little side plot here. Basically, you are not allowed to... Oh, that is one thing I should have mentioned. Um, after you do all this, you aren't allowed to leave uh, Shiver City until after you've solved the uh, the murder mystery. Because um, basically, they think that you murdered him. Um, however, so now you basically... He, the detective guy here has to tell you that if you are innocent, then you have to go find the guy that actually murdered the mayor. And basically just kind of go around and look for him. There's different clues throughout the city and whatnot. Uh, in case you didn't notice, there is one clue in here. It says, uh, it's like a, a piece of paper that said Herringway. Which is another penguin that lives in the, uh, in the city. Obviously, um, Herringway's name... Herringway is a uh, penguin author. Oh, yep, see, this is, the, this is where the, what I was talking about. You can't get the panel with these penguins standing on it. So, yeah, you'd have to wait till after the murder is solved. But, um, anyways, Herringway is a reference to the, uh, the author, uh, Ernest Hemingway, obviously. Uh, and, um, to further, uh, further show that resemblance, I guess, uh, the Herringway character in this game is also an author. I believe this is his house. Yep. No one's in here, though. So, I'm pretty sure what we want to do next is go out here on this pond. And you can see this key down here. And as you can see right there, right behind us, there's a locked door. So, we're going to want to break this ice here by doing a tornado jump on it three times. And then once we do that, switch to sushi. And have her dive down to get this warehouse key. And then we can enter that warehouse. Which, uh, should lead us up to the rooftops, I think. Yeah. 
I don't think there's anything else in here. Nope. But yeah, so now we're on the roof. And I think this will slide us right down. Yep, slide us right over to the next roof. And we drop down this chimney into Herringway's house. And there's actually a, uh, like a secret room, basically, above the room that we're in. And that's where he's hiding out in, basically. Now, this is basically where he writes all his, uh, his books and stuff to get away from everyone, I guess. So anyway, so you talk to him. And you tell him, basically, about the murder and everything. And so he wants to go check it out for himself, basically. And engage stairs. All right, so you can go down back to the uh, the room that was empty before, basically. And just follow him back to the mayor's house. This is a pretty easy enough... Uh, um, oh, as you can see... The warp pipe is uh, blocked by that penguin guy. So like I said, you can't leave uh, until after this is all done and over with. Anyways, though, this is a... Uh, yeah, you just fall inside the house. And... Do you talk to him? Yeah, maybe not. I guess you just go, go ahead and go in here. Alright, who do I talk to? Yeah, I guess I don't talk to him. I guess I talk to the... Yeah, okay. <laughs> hmm, he definitely does appear to be holding a piece of paper. It's a message about his death. With his last breath, the mayor told us the murderer's identity. <laughs> okay. So now they think it's Herringway. Uh, oh yeah, he is a, uh... He's a writer of m murder mystery novels, so that makes him pretty suspicious, I guess, but, um, anyways, as they're arguing here, uh, the mayor starts, uh, twitching, as you can see, so he's clearly not dead, obviously that would have just been too dark for a Mario game, so they decided to just have him actually be unconscious. Although you'd think that they would have uh, somehow, like, I mean, there should be a definitive difference between being dead and being unconscious, but oh well. Um, it was an interesting little side plot thing, like I said. Basically, he just wanted to give this present to Herringway, and it, like, fell and hit him or something or another. Um, I think, I know the mayor penguin was, and I... I think Herringway were actually both in the castle, uh, in Peach's castle at the very beginning of the game. But, uh, obviously they had escaped before the whole earthquake and everything. Um, there's actually still, I think, when you, uh, when you go over to Peach's castle, like, after this level, I think there's still some, uh, other penguins, like, up there, like, being held in, uh, Bowser's cells, if I remember correctly. Um... What do I do now? Do I talk to this guy? No. I think I just go ahead and go on. They're supposed to give you... Like, someone's supposed to give you, like, a scarf, and someone's supposed to give you a bucket. And you'll see what those are used for somewhat shortly, but... I guess for now, I just continue on this way. Because I've got nothing better to do. It's been quite some time since I've played this game, actually. I'm kind of, like... My memory is a bit hazy on like where exactly to go and everything right now, but it's not really that difficult. Oh yeah, you can leave the city again now. I think Junior Troopa is going to be fighting us here soon. I'm going to switch to Watt. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, pretty sure he fights us now, unless it's later. Oh, maybe it's on the way back. Nope, nope, it's definitely now. All right. Basically, he, uh, he's improved again since the last time we fought him. This time he has a magic, like, staff, and he can, like, use, like, magic beams at you. He doesn't have his wings or anything anymore, though, which is interesting. Um, he's still pretty easy to, to beat, though. Uh, he has 50 HP. That's not too shabby, I guess. But, like I said, and I think he has some defense still. And... I'm not going to defeat him if I keep only hitting uh, one damage per attack. I do hate magic attacks, though. Oh, I actually blocked it. Ooh, 
That's net. That's ooh, that does quite a bit of damage. I said I don't remember everything about uh, this part in the game. I didn't remember it doing that much damage really. That's uh, that's quite a bit. Of course, I guess I do a lot of damage to him every turn too. So it kind of evens out. There we go. I just did eleven in that turn. Oh, I blocked it again. I don't understand. I I used to be really bad at uh, blocking those attacks, but I guess I'm not that bad anymore. Despite the fact that I haven't played this game in uh, probably over a year or so. Duh, gosh dang it. Ugh. Oh, that time I didn't block it though. See, that's what happens when I talk about how good I'm getting at blocking those attacks and stuff. I end up not being able to block it. Um, there we go. And I missed again. Dang it. Ah, well. Alright, this attack should hopefully finish him off if I get it right. And I did. Alright, there we go. And, so like I said, that was easy enough. And that fight pretty much ends the same way every other one has so far. All right, this is what I was talking about, basically, with the uh, the scarf and the bucket. As you can see, obviously, one needs a bucket and one needs a, sc one needs a scarf. Um, now we just have to go find... Actually, I don't know if we do that just yet. No, no, we don't. We still continue on. Oh, there's the star panel. There we go. Um, the enemies in this place are a little bit annoying. I don't care for them too much, to be honest. But, I feel like there's something in these trees, maybe. Let's, oh, repel gel. Okay. Well, let's see here. Oh, yeah. I do not like these guys at all. Frost piranhas. They can freeze you, and freezing is generally pretty bad. There's a letter back here, though. Merlot. Alrighty. Oh yeah, this, uh, I don't know, someone back in, uh, uh, whatever it's called, uh, Shiver City mentioned something about a monster, and this is basically it. Uh, you can either run away from it or fight it, but in order to progress, you have to fight it. And it's not, qu not quite as disturbing as it seems. First of all, it has 20 HP. Um, it's obviously pretty weak. And wait till you see its attacks. Its attack, I think, is kind of hard to uh, dodge or defend against, basically. But that's not really a problem. Yeah. Shooting shooting stars. That do a whopping, I think, one point of damage. Yeah, one. So if you don't defend against it, it's not a big deal. Just uh, make sure, obviously, you have more than, like, one HP after that fight with... Uh, Junior Trooper, and if you fought the Frost Piranhas or anything like that. Ooh, I'm I leveled up, though. That's nice. Alright. Can't go any higher on HP. It's between FP and BP. Hmm. I guess I might as well go with FP. <laughs> so basically, it's not really a monster, obviously, or ghost, or whatever that was supposed to be. But uh, it's just a bunch of stars. Um, which are from... The this area called Starborn Valley, I believe. Um, and this guy, obviously, is related to Merlin. And he wants you to come see him in his little house place thing. Um, he basically apologizes, apologizes for the stars attacking you. If I can get up there. There we go. Come in, please. Alrighty. So basically, he just kind of rambles on about all kinds of stuff. None of it's really important, except for the scarf. Which, uh, basically you get that, and then you have to go back to Shiver City to get the bucket. And that's that. So now we gotta head back to Shiver City. I think actually I'll just skip there. So I'll see you guys when I get there. Or wait, what's this? Oh, yeah, he just gives you a hint. Alright, see you guys back at Shiver City.
All right, everyone, I'm back. As you can see, I'm not in Shiver City just yet, but I just wanted to point this out, how uh, Junior Troopa is now frozen in ice. That was kind of meaningless for me to point that out, but nonetheless, in case you somehow missed that, which, I mean, it's kind of doubtful that you will since it's right on your, directly on your path back. Um, just an interesting little, I don't know. It's not an Easter egg, I guess. Really, it's too obvious for that, but, I mean, I don't really know what else you would call it. Um... Nonetheless, gotta go back to the mayor's house, and of course the mayor's house is the farthest possible point away from, uh, from, uh, Starborn Valley. Gotta go all the way over here. Like, I couldn't have made this any more, uh, any more annoying, really, but, oh well. Uh, go in here. Talk to the mayor. And he gives you the bucket. So now we can get further into uh well, I really don't know what that place is called. <laughs> um basically the place before the next level. I don't have any idea what its name is now that I think about it. So I will make my way there. And alrighty. Like I said, the mayor's house is unfortunately all the way on the other side of Shiver City. Wait. Okay, I thought I saw something, but oh, it was just lackluster. I was like, what was that? It looked like like a something, but I couldn't tell what it was. It was just lackluster though. Uh, Junior Troop is still there. I guess I didn't have to point that out. That was really pointless of me to just be like, Oh, hey, look at this, when it's going to be there on my way back. Alright, nonetheless, though, put the scarf on him. And the bucket on him. And a cool bucket hat. Thank you. A warm scarf. Thank you. Oh, that's awkward. You would think a snowman would not like something warm. <laughs> but, uh... Nonetheless, they do their little stomping thing, and this thing opens up. And... Okay. There we go. With many thanks and blessings from the snowman. Alright. And... Hmm. Should I cut this off here? Eh, I, yeah, yeah, I will. Um, so, that's basically it for this part of the video. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it's been helpful so far, and thanks again for watching.